Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. So here is actually not many things to discuss. Uh, it's because markets tends like to stand. So you can see it's absolutely no action. It's very small trading range day by day. So it's, well, different some sounds, preparation to something big. So activity is actually going away from the, from the gold market within this week. Most things that we actually have to keep in mind is mostly stands on the weekly chart. We just remember about this one. So we have oversold on the weekly 618 support in our major OP. It means that whatever action will start, the major one should be after completion of these targets. It means that our trigger moment is when the market will touch the OP. And on volatility that probably we will get today, just some spikes around, so easily could happen even without some direct motion so just an uh, emotional volatility and speculators and games and this might might happen so after that uh, we probably should get something uh, actually we will get only uh, the major thing so uh, whether the pullback will happen and we will get some pattern or market will just break it this level or it will stubborn and stands in, in, around it uh, so this will be bearish sign that's what we intend to watch speaking about current patterns that are forming theoretically you could tell that we have nominal double ripple pattern here just because we have close above the three by three close below and here's minor candle which with the close above three by three but i would argue that uh, this type of the performance it's not typical for the double ripple Double repo is a capitulation of the bears in current situation. It means that market should show that bears are trying to push price lower. But when the bulls have stepped in, bears have capitulated. And usually this leads to the aggressive action uh, to the upside. This is the nature of the double repo. Here we do not see it. It looks more like a consolidation. And in the current situation, I think that this well, nominal double repo is not reliable. I prob probably more rely on um, two things. First of all, as I said, untouched OP, which stands slightly below the market. And second, the performance right there on the hourly chart, where we have clearly sign, uh, signs of the bearish dynamic pressure trends rising, while the price action is not. It is uh, the, some anticipation of the possible prediction of the possible collapse and challenging of the previous laws. One, this will happen after that we could start watching for something else and maybe in the current environment we should focus not even on the fall of them from chart performance but it, it, it seems that it makes sense since we're actually watching for a weekly support it makes sense to jump directly to the daily because here we also have great downside action and maybe we should start searching some pattern right on the daily chart so when the op will be touched reaction could start and maybe we'll get either the double uh, brand and body trade or the same double repo that will suggest more or less uh, significant pullback out from the weekly support something of that sort so keep it short until the payrolls report will be i um, suggest that's better to not consider taking any positions and uh, second with the current situation and performance on the hourly chart taking it together with the op target that we have here I'm more tending to idea that probably we should get downside action right to the 7 to 90, 80 even area rather than some kind of the this double repo will start to work. So this is my just personal opinion. This is not because I'm calling you to, t to make the bet and trade this to the downside. No, I, I'm, I'm speaking about uh, just overall direction and we we will we're not intend taking position right now in any direction. So we just need to wait and see when the market will complete the major target. And then we'll see on response what the patterns will be formed and then we decide what particular position we'll take um, but potentially i suspect that uh, we should get nice trading steps for moderate bounce out from the 18 area.